Dark Goblin is gonna go down to the giant skeleton bomb. Pekka is alive. Is it gonna be able to take the lover? Oh, get a critical. Get a critical. Hey, what's going on everybody? Full Furniture today bringing y'all a Clash Mini video and in today's video we have another challenge from, I'm gonna butcher this, I'm sorry, Kellyan? Kellyan? Thank you for leaving a comment and enjoying the videos. Says, hey, I got an idea of a challenge. You can only use the two front lines of the board. I really like this challenge, so we're gonna hop into it. We're gonna take out the Barbarian King, of course. Um, and then we'll use Giant Skeleton here as well. And I want some high DPS, so we're gonna bring out the P.E.K.K.A. Um, and because we're gonna use the front two lines, I don't really wanna have any ranged units. But I think I do want to have the Miner in here. So this way we still have some backline access with the Prince and the Miner. So let's hop into some matches right here. So we have no range units. We're only going to be able to use the front two lines of the board. We're going up against Titus. Okay, so I think we'll throw Barbarian King there. And we'll put the... Actually, let's do this. We'll do this we'll put the barbarian here so that way if he happens to get targeted um we'll just be able to use that our barbarian king is going to focus his barbarian which is very nice bomb's going to go off right there i think we will probably end up losing this unless our king is able to take his king down before he gets the iron fist off he does Oh my goodness, wow. I did not think we were gonna win that one, but we did, which was really clutch. All right, and we are getting really lucky with being able to, actually, I'm gonna put this here because the Prince will just charge forward. We're getting really lucky with being able to use, I'm saving this Pekka because I want it next. Um, Oh, we do catch the miner. Very nice. It's gonna go straight to the back line, which is fine because now it looks like it's gonna target this giant skeleton, which is what I want. And we're gonna go up 2-0. Oh. Is this actually like a viable strategy? No range units, getting some back lines in. We're gonna grab the P.E.K.K.A. here. And then I think I wanna go with the attacks having plus, plus two. So honestly, the giant skeleton is because everything's like a melee unit. It's going to be like pushing forward. And like the giant skeleton will almost serve as like a backline tank. So we get this going through. Our miner is actually going to target his archer, which is so clutch. Barbarian's going to turn and it still has some healing as well. We get the damage in and we're going to take a 3-0 over Titus, who is ranked uh, fairly high, if I remember correctly. So we get the win right there. Let's hop into another one. And we're going up against, ooh, True Fett, another top player. Oh, I wanna, oh no. We can only use the front two tiles and the mirrors on the third. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, I think I actually wanna go about it like this. Let's see, he goes with the archer. We're able to take the archer down, which is very, very nice. Iron Fist should pop off here. Not before the prince gets taken down, though, which is not good. His archer is focused onto our barbarian. And we take the L on that one. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Oh, no. Not again. Are you kidding me? I really don't know if he's going to have prince. I think I'm gonna go like this, put the miner over here. Just to be safe. I'm actually gonna do this. If he ha his archer will target our barbarian in the back line again, and I'm actually really glad I put the miner there. Because now our miner is targeting his archer. Which will get the takedown. It's also gonna focus onto the dark goblin, which is huge. Pekka gets the crit off, and we're able to take that round. Okay. Yes, Princess, or uh, Mirror Tile's finally on the front line. 
and we're gonna go about it like this I think now we're gonna we're gonna go with the damage onto the barbarian I want to keep that minor because I want I probably want to get backstab in the next round go for the target we're able to capture the lumberjack and the barbarian which just leaves our minor target onto that dark goblin we do take the dark goblin down which is absolutely huge knight's gonna go down as well the barbarian is steam rolling up uh, he had the barbarian getting just enough damage onto our barb king that we weren't able to survive long enough i think did he go can you see one, one thing i think would be a cool feature is if you hold down on an enemy, you could see what their upgrade was. Uh, so we're going to go with the old pony here. And then we're going to go with backstab on the miner. So this way, again, we just get that damage through. And we'll see what he's going to go with here. The archer is on three stars, but everything, our prince and our giant skeleton is going to target it, which is huge. So we should be able to win this round because he doesn't our barbarian king and pekka are locked out of hitting his barbarian king we can't get to him okay there we go <laughs> my barbarian king has been walking around for the longest time like what are you doing <laughs> i love it um okay nice so we do have that there so we're just gonna shift this over i think i'm gonna go with the bomb and I think we're gonna go with the bigger bomb here I'm gonna do the plus damage and the bigger bomb and really just hope everything gets scaled down we do have backstab onto the miner it is gonna connect with that dark goblin which is huge dark goblin is gonna go down to the giant skeleton bomb Pekka is alive is it gonna be able to take the lumber oh get a critical Get a critical. Yeah, let's go. The crit comes in for the win, baby. You love to see it. You got the crit. Let's freaking go. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're going. Oh, true fight again, round three. Okay, so we've played on the healing arena. Or, um, we've played on banquet hall. Or healing, healing board. Not arena, it's a board. It's a board. The healing board. I don't know the exact name of it. I can't remember. Let me know down in the comment section below if you've made it to this point in the video. Even if you don't know it, look it up and then put it down there. Just so I know you made it this far. Alright, so we survived there. Oh man, we got so lucky that the mirror tiles in the last few rounds ended up on the front line. Are the front two lines because if they didn't oh man i don't know what would have happened um i think i want to go giant skeleton here and then i don't want to upgrade the prince yet but i might want to upgrade the miner so i'll leave the miner there nice the prince takes the aggro of the barbarian so the miner will also get some chip damage giant skeleton bomb's gonna go off beautiful uh, this is not beautiful actually he moved the lumberjack or the um, archer and dark goblin a line forward. All right, so we're gonna roll with this. We're gonna throw the backstab on here. Let's see. Even. I'm trying to, because if he goes on that side, okay, he does go on that side. Everything's going to focus. The knight actually takes the aggro. The barbarian's going to focus onto the archer, though, which is absolutely massive. There we go. You'd love to see that. Our barbarian king is already dead, though. Giant skeleton bomb's going to go off here. It's not going to be able to take care of the dark goblin. He's up two to one. Trufet is a really good player, so he's making the adjustments. And this is honestly rough i think i think i need to go giant skeleton bomb affecting a larger area and then i think i need cleave and we don't get, we don't even get a oh no i think 
Oh, cleave would have been so great here because we would be getting the backstab onto the mine or onto the archer. Wow, well played by Truefet. Well played, well played. But hey, we go two to one. We weren't able to get the cleave onto the miner. I feel like that might have made a little difference. And he kept everything on that side. I think if we had Prince going over and taking out the Lumber, like if we had switched a couple of things uh, and we're able to get Cleave, that probably would have made a difference. But we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, again, thank you for the challenge. If you guys want to see more challenges, let me know down in the comment section below. A few of you left challenges on the last video, and I'll probably get to those because a lot of those are really good. But if you want to see any other tips, tricks, anything like that, if you want to see something specific covered, let me know down in the comment section below because I want to cater content to... The people who are watching my videos and subscribe to the channel because you're subscribing for my take and my knowledge on the game but i hope you all enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like subscribe for more content and don't forget to turn that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos and i'll talk to you all in the next one have a great night everybody we'll see you later peace out